Well, hello, and welcome to The Coolest Life. Today, I'm going to take you on a tour of a place called Columbus, Indiana. It's about uh, halfway between Louisville, Kentucky, and um, Indianapolis. So it's in southern Indiana, near Brown County. Actually, not far at all. And we stayed at a place uh, near a little town called Nashville. Nashville, Indiana, not Nashville, Tennessee. So join me on this exploration of this city, and uh, come join us. You just entered The Coolest Life. Because uh, just as you get into town, uh, you exit off I-65, and this is the bridge that you're going to be going over. That's actually I-65, the, the, the road that connects Nashville and Columbus, Indiana, is this road. But you can tell immediately there's something different going on here. Uh, Columbus, Indiana is actually known for its architecture. For some reason, back some several years ago, some architectures got some ar architecture uh I guess it's architecture people. <laughs> For some reason, some people involved in architecture decided when they were going to retire, they were going to move to Columbus, Indiana. For whatever reason. It could be because of its natural beauty. But what you're going to find when you visit there are, are a lot of different things. Now, when we go, we like to stay in a little town uh, called Nashville. Actually, a little place between Nashville and, uh, and uh, Columbus is called uh, Rawhide Ranch. And we enjoy our state, Rawhide Ranch. Now, Nashville is a small little town. They've got different things like this polar bear you see here. It's a great place for taking pictures. The Rawhide Ranch looks a little more like this. Of course, it being a ranch, they have horses there. They may even have cows there. I actually don't remember seeing any cows, but it's predominantly a horse ranch. They rent out stables, and you can actually stay on in, in this facility here uh, and then see the horses on, on actually both ends, the north end and the south end. You can see horses. Inside this place where you stay, it's actually upstairs above the main barn. The main barn has got uh, uh, some, a few stables uh, and some 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 tack, which is uh, horse supplies essentially, and also a little uh, kitchen that they'll serve you breakfast. The main area is pretty nice, decorated in the this typical style. Our rooms are good size. You can get rooms with two beds, three beds, four beds. And it just depends on which one you want to pay for and uh, get the corner rooms. We kind of like the corner room. That's what this one here is. Everything's in the uh, Western style though. Like the little signs they have around posted. Now one of the main attractions in Columbus, Indiana is the uh, Children's Center. And this is a look at the Children's Center. As you can see, it's got some things that you climb on and get inside and uh, uh, explore a little bit with that. and. It's uh, really neat, but as you drive around town, what you find out is there, there's a whole lot to see. As a matter of fact, this particular picture is a, a, a huge monument outside of an industrial building. Even their churches have got some nice little flair to them. I think that's the Celtic cross there. The back to some of the churches have got nice little gardens. As you drive through town, you've got the these huge monuments, monuments just scattered all over town. They also have a covered bridge, and this is a really good shot of the covered bridge. Nice, covered bridge. One lane or two. Other buildings you might find throughout town. They just got a little more of a flair. It's just not your normal building. In fact, I think this one's actually their library. You can see these these things here look like they're large books. And this is actually their hospital, amazingly enough. This is another shot of it from behind. As you can tell, there's a whole lot to see there in Columbus, Indiana. And uh, this uh, this here's a shot of uh, basically if you wanted to go on a tour or wanted to walk around, you can get this online from their, their main website, or you can check it out at their Welcome Center. They'll be glad to give you a map, something like this, so you can do your self-guided tour. They've also got guided tours, especially in the summertime frame, 
Well, I hope you enjoyed that tour of Columbus, Indiana. We typically go there around Thanksgiving time frame when I go see my, my parents uh, up in Indiana and, and relatives up that way. And uh, we'd like to spend the night there, do some horseback riding. They've also got zip lines available there at Rawhide Ranch. Uh, it's a great place to stay, reasonably priced, but while most zip lines may be a little cheaper, uh, but it's a great place to stay and, and explore. So um, if you get a chance, go to Columbus, Indiana, spend the night or just spend the day. But right now, you are leaving the coolest life. So this bridge that you see here is about as high. Who cares how high it is? I don't know. It's like 50 feet. It's like way up there. Uh, <coughs> Man. All right. So... Uh, got together and they decided to, uh, dang it. We always enjoy uh, messing around with the horses a little bit and trying not to get bit is, <laughs> is our main focus. <laughs> Let me tell you, I came pretty close a couple times. <laughs> uh.